Hey there, my name is Daryl Woods. I work at Adult Services at Hollywood St. Paul's, and today we have 10 quick facts about castles. Number one, the oldest inhabited castle in the world is also one of the best known. Windsor Castle was built by William the Conqueror in the late 11th century and has acted as the primary royal palace of the English crown since Henry I. Number two, Transylvania's Bronn Castle was the inspiration for the Dracula novel. Bram Stoker never actually visited the castle, but he was entranced by the images and pictures of it that he could find in books and in museums. Number three, the largest castle in the world is Prague Castle. Unsurprisingly, found in the Czech Republic, it comprises 750,000 square feet. Number four, speaking of Czech castles, Seski Krumlov Castle uh, features a moat that, is, that since 1707 has been filled with bears. Number five, Hauska Castle, also in the Czech Republic, was built over a very deep hole, thought to be a gateway to hell. The protective walls are built inward to protect the rest of the world from invaders from the underworld. Number six, the word dungeon emerged from the French word donjon, which means fortified tower. These were the places of final refuge when a castle was under attack. Later it was realized that places like these would make good prisons for the very same reasons that they made great refuges. Number seven, Neusch von Stein Castle was the primary inspiration for Walt Disney's Sleeping Beauty Castle. It was built by Ludwig II of Bavaria in 1886. Number eight, Bishop's Castle is the largest one-man architecture project in the world. Nestled in the mountains of Colorado, Jim Bishop's handmade castle is 16 stories tall and boasts a fire-breathing dragon. Number nine, there's a ghost town in Turkey called Burj al Babas that is comprised of 732 empty castles. And lastly, you probably wouldn't be surprised if I told you that Astolat Castle has an estimated worth of eight and a half million dollars. You might even think it was a steal if I told you that it contained gold chandeliers, inlaid marble bathrooms, artifacts from Pompeii, and the world's smallest antique Bible. You might think again if I told you that it was actually just a dollhouse. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did and you want to contact me, you can leave a message down below or you can send a comment, set question or suggestion to the email that you see here. And until next time, enjoy yourself.